Hola, ¿qué tal banda? Bienvenidos sean una vez más a este su programa Sin Permiso. El día de hoy vamos a tener un show muy divertido, ya que nos encontramos transmitiendo desde la competencia de Vivo y City México, esto dentro de las actividades del Festival Calle Genera 2015. Vamos a tener entrevistas, una entrevista con Beto Méndez, quien es uno de los principales precursores de este maravilloso festival. También tenemos una entrevista con Vivo y Milky y con MC Arson. Vamos a tener música, mucho baile y mucha diversión. No te vayas, esto es Sin Permiso. Peace, this is our son. I'm out here in Monterrey, Mexico. Came out here to represent and just uh, show who I am, show who my crew is, Style Elements crew, BGSK, Chief Rocks. We out here just enjoying the culture, enjoying the people, and uh, trying to see some new things and um, bring some new things to the people out here, some education, some culture, some life, some freedom, some, some hip hop. That's what it is, our son. Uh, I'm a b-boy, I'm a hip-hopper, I'm an MC. I beatbox, I play the flute. I just do this hip-hop culture. It's the way I live ever since I was a kid. I've been uh, loving this culture, loving um, its expression. And uh, I live out in California right now, but um, I'm out here to see the world. I'm out here to do my thing and just uh, represent for the people and do it for the people and for the culture of the people. And just uh, live this hip-hop life. Some people don't understand it and they don't uh, They don't get what we're doing, but we have a love for what we're doing. It's something that's ancient. You know, we've been doing this culture for a long time, and uh, it's something that came back to us. They took away our cultures, uh, and uh, they took it away from us. They, they killed our dances. They killed our people coming together. And uh, so we're here to bring it back through hip hop. So that's what, I, that's what I'm here doing. That's what I'm here on Earth doing, is uh, sharing that we're alive and our culture's alive, our people are alive, and we're happy and we're free. And this is what's given back to the kids so the kids can be free and so the kids can smile, have something to look forward to and look up to and express themselves so they stay out of the streets so they stay out of trouble and so they have something new to express through that's what I'm doing I started breaking when I was a kid I was eight years old uh, it was a long time ago it was around like 83 and um, it wasn't accepted back then um, the people didn't understand it much it was something small and a lot of people didn't ha didn't know what we were doing they just uh, They thought we were just jumping on the floor or just like saying whatever and uh, they thought we were criminals and we were just painting on the walls and stuff but they didn't realize that we were doing something that was that like I said it, it was ancient it's something we know we've always been painting on the mountains and putting petroglyphs you know we've always been dancing to the drum you know they 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 wrapped the trees with leather around, you know, and they, they danced to it back in the old, old days, you know, our ancestors. And uh, we've always heard, had our people singing our songs, our chanters, and now it's an MC. And we've always had the people dancing around a fire in, in a circle. And, and now it's the B-boys, and we're the, we're the fire, the B-girls. And, um, you know, so the culture didn't understand it in the 80s. They didn't get it. But we kept doing it because we loved it. It was something that we needed to do for, for ourselves. And uh, we kept doing it, we kept doing it. And uh, me, myself, I went through a lot of ups and downs of, of expressing myself through this culture. And, uh, but I kept on going through, through the 90s. You know, it, there was a time where they, it went away again in like 86, they took away the, the breaking. And, uh, but I kept going, I kept, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep dancing and I'm gonna keep uh, expressing myself and keep listening to this music and keep believing in th that this culture has something good for the people. I, uh, I, I was born in El Paso, Texas. And I moved, I moved from my city. I left my people behind, I left my family because I believed in this so much. I believed in my street family and I believe that the culture, the family of the culture had something. So I, I went and I followed that dream and I, I went out to Las Vegas. When I got to Las Vegas, I met a, a lot of the pioneers, a lot of people who started this culture. You know, I met a lot of people from Rocksteady. I met people from Style Elements who were, who were changing the culture at that time. They were changing the way we dance. So I started to learn and uh, study under them. And um, next thing I knew, I was getting put in Rocksteady. And uh, these are the rocks, for the people that don't know, Rocksteady crew, they're the pioneers of this dance. They're the ones who started pretty much brought this dance to the world. They're from New York, from the Bronx, and um, 
they were the first ones that built the foundation of what we're doing. They started the language of our dance, and I happened to learn from them, and they happened to accept me. And uh, you know, for me, it was a dream fulfilled. I'm just a, I'm just a kid from El Paso, Texas. I'm a small kid. My family's from Chihuahua. They're Tarumara, I'm Tarumara, and uh, Mazteca. And um, I didn't think that that would happen for me. I didn't think that that those things would come to me in my life. I just believed that. I believed in the culture. Not. I didn't really necessarily believe it that it, those things would were possible for me. You know, and. Um, but it happened. It happened somehow, some way, just by believing in myself. It's about saving the kids from the streets. It's about taking them from the streets and giving them a way of expressing something for them to believe in themselves, to build up their self-esteem, and for them to make other people happy so they could spread the knowledge and keep doing what we're doing. So the, most, the biggest change I've seen in the culture is that the parents believe now. The parents believe that the kids have something great and they, they can do something, they can get somewhere with it, and uh, they, can, they can fulfill their dreams. I would never would have thought that hip hop would bring me out here to Mexico. I thought I would just come out here just to see the city and experience the culture like that. But no, I can't, I'm out here because of hip hop and because hip hop brought me out here. So that's the biggest change is that it's possible. Anything's possible. If you put your heart and soul into it and you put your mind and dedication into it, whatever you feel, whatever you wanna do, if you just keep chasing it, anything's possible. I think it's, being out here, it's, it's amazing. It's, uh, I think that we're out here in the middle of the city. We're out here doing what we do. You can see they got the class behind us. And uh, it's just a great experience to see that they're allowing us to be here. They're allowing us to come out here into the middle of the city. They're allowing us to, to dance on their floor, to bring the kids out here, to bring the, the elders out here, the older generation, to bring my generation, for us all to come together. You know, that's a beautiful thing that, that, the, that the city is allowing them to do this here. You know, it takes a long time and it takes years for the, for the people to accept that and for the city especially to accept those things. So for me to be out here and see that it's alive out here in Monterrey, Mexico, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And, I, and I'm just happy that we got to remember that all we're doing in hip hop is expressing culture, expressing community, people, the coming together, the expression of love and releasing that so we don't get caught up in the streets and the poverty and we don't get caught up in the in the the places they're trying to keep us because our culture is beautiful our culture has something to share for the world and they're accepting it and it's gone all over the world global but it started here through our people and our culture and that's what it is hip hop my name is Art Sun Style Elements crew BGSK Chief Rockers and I'm going to be doing this hip-hop culture till the day I die.